Hello folks, today we are going to talk about a new announcement of Amazon CloudWatch Unified Agent, what it means and when to use it or why do you need it, that is what we are going to see today. So when you talk about Amazon CloudWatch, we all know that Amazon offers certain metrics when you launch a VM. Some of them are shown here, they are something like a CPU utilization, disk reads, network in and out, whether your operating system hardware checks fails. But sometimes this is not necessary or sometimes this is not enough. For example, by default, you get about 23 metrics and all these metrics fall under these categories of CPU, disk, network, and EPS matrices. But they're not enough. Why is that not enough? Let us see what are the use cases people are using EC2s and see why they are not enough. If we go ahead and see that people are running different kinds of services in AWS. They are running uh, streaming videos where uh, multiple users, millions of users and uh, recommendation engines and all those things are happening in AWS. They're also running flash sales. When you're having a flash sales, there is a, let us say there's a new mobile package that is launched. There's a millions of transactions happening in the first five, 10 minutes, and you want to know detailed metrics during those five minutes or even within the per second matrices are important. And the other reason that people want more detailed matrices are customers are deploying code more and more frequently. You cannot wait for five or 10 minutes to get the feedback from the systems. And finally, application scale in and out, and especially if you have a container services, they scale in and out in seconds. So you want to catch those matrices when the event is happening and not wait for you or 10 minutes. Here, there is a couple of graphs I want to share with you, which is from a couple of real customers. Here on the left hand side, you see the low memory status alarm for a 10 second interval. You see here, there's a brief period where the memory goes down all the way to zero and bounces back. Whereas when on the right hand side, when you have a time duration of one minute, where within a period of two minutes, you can see here from 85% the free memory goes all the way to back to 50%. So you want to know before these events are happening, if you have an alarm which is set up for 10 minutes or if you have a third party system which will feed or take inputs from your APIs, by the time it will be too late to understand this. Why is that happening is, let us see the reasons. One minute is simply too coarse. You would want to know more detailed information than a one minute based alarm can give you because the transient spikes that happens in your system will be missed by the time the aggregate alarm is or data is sent to the monitoring system. You would want to monitor them more frequently. And all these different events are happening all over your systems and they're all correlated and if you want to troubleshoot them you want to know what is happening on different systems at that point of time so eventually it is going to affect your mean time to recovery and you're going to have a very high uh, recovery time that is not going to be not acceptable to your clients so what is the solution to it one of the common solutions that amazon thought about is having an unified agent which is ca which can collect information from your systems and provide it to you at a far greater interval the unified agent can collect matrices from your systems at the smallest interval of per second. You can configure it to 10 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds, whichever way you want, or you can have a custom value also. And in total, it gives you about 82 plus matrices. And in addition to that, you can configure your own custom matrix and feed it into your CloudWatch agent. All of them fall into different categories like CPU, memory, uh, inodes, disk utilization, and all those things. How does this CloudWatch agent works? Let us say you have an EC2 instance. That EC2 instance can be running a Windows operating system or it can be running a Linux operating system. Then you go ahead and install the CloudWatch unified agent and you will also configure it to send that information or matrices that you are interested in to your CloudWatch logs. From the CloudWatch logs, what you can do is you collect all these matrices and write your dashboards now. You want to see whether the number of API transactions that is happening in your system is good, whether the memory swap space and all those things are happening good, or is there any blip in your utilization? And once you graph out those dashboards, you can create your alarms based on that. So this is how CloudWatch agent or the unified agent that is newly launched by Amazon is helping you to have in-depth matrices into your organization. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure your CloudWatch agent in an EC2 instance. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.